Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to do the infinite ring trick on the PSN version of this game that just came out recently. Quite a few people are wondering if it still works. Yes, they still left it in the game. It also works on the 360 version as well. This glitch works by abusing the fact that the game te uh, keeps the Chao save data separately from the regular game data. Since the ring count belongs to the regular game data, you have to trick the game into saving the game data without saving the Chao data. You can technically do this trick with any item in a garden that you can sell, however the best method is to get a shiny black egg. The shiny black egg's um, shells sell for 5,000 rings. The downside is that a shiny black egg requires you to have 180 emblems and it costs 20,000 rings. So if you have enough rings and don't want to, or if, I should say if you don't have enough rings and you don't want to grind for them, you can uh, stick to selling other shells in the garden that you might have. But <clears throat> once you have whatever it is you want to use for this trick, you basically just have to. Oh god, these eggs. Yeah, you basically have to just bring it over to the black market. So let's go do that right now. I already bought the shiny egg shell because it shows up randomly in the black market, all well, the eggs that is. And that would take too long to wait for it to randomly generate. Okay, so once you're actually in the black market, you just want to sell it like you would any other item. As you can see, this sells for 5,000. Okay, so once you sell it, now you have to trick the game into saving the ring count, but not saving the eggshell getting sold. To do this, you simply press start first, then you go to help and options, and then next you choose options. When the next screen comes up, all you have to do is change something. I prefer going to vibration and just toggling it from on to off, back to on, and then confirming. You have to at least change it one way or the other to make it save. And then you just toggle all the way back and it auto-saves. You saw the little uh, save up in the upper right corner? That's saving the game data, not the chow data. Okay, so that yeah, that's the important part. It doesn't save the chow data. All that's left to do now is to quit out of the game. Make very sure you hard quit out of the game and not choose exit from chow garden. So for PS3, you would just press the PS button and choose the quick game. And after it goes back to your... well, for 360 it would be the dashboard, so for this, it's just your main PS3 game selection, so you load the game back up, just like you would if you are just starting up the game. While this is loading back up, I'll explain the benefits of this glitch. First of all, there are special character themes you can buy in the black market depending on how many emblems you have. And they are very expensive. The most expensive one is uh, 30k, which is Maria's, I believe. There's also Lama Chow and Amy theme. Having tons of rings also allows you to buy any egg you want and food for the Chow and such. If you aim to have over 100k rings, you'll be in good shape to not have to get any more rings for quite some time, if ever. If you're curious, the second fastest way to get rings without using glitch is to just do Mission 3 in City Escape, and instead of getting the Lost Chow, go through the level normally, and then when you get to the end, hit the back ring and keep doing it until you have 999 rings, which is the max you can have in one run. Alright, anyway, once it loads back up, go back to Chow Garden, and... Did you, if you notice, my ring count was increased from before I sold the egg. Now, if you did this right, well, wait for it to load. If you did this right, the eggshell will still be in the garden. And there it is in the corner. This is how you trick the game into giving you as many rings as you want. Some people think it's a really cheap method, but... It, like some may even call it cheating, but it's a glitch and it doesn't use like a cheat device or anything like that. And you know, glitches are usually like okay by people's standards. You know, especially because it's just time consuming. It's not like it gets rid of skill or anything. And plus, raising Chow, other than raising it for just to do the races, there's really no other objective in the game to raise Chow for, so it's just a for fun thing, so people just do whatever's fast. Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. Hope this helped a little bit for anybody who was wondering if they still had that glitch.